Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you guys about the best time to invest early game FIFA 20 Ultimate Team on this new game that we are limited access to. If you're on uh, PS4, only the 10 hours of EA access. A lot of people are trying to find glitches. Doesn't seem like there's much out there. I'm trying to keep a very, very... Um, keen eye on my use. I think I have like seven hours left right now. I haven't played a lot of games. I plan to play some more games this weekend, get some squad battle rewards. I would recommend doing the same for you guys as well. Do a couple drafts, do some rivals. Kind of try to spread your games out though um, between squad battles and those other game modes so that you can get some rewards in multiple places and kind of spread that out. Um, but that's not the point of what I really want to talk to you guys about today. We need to continue talking about the markets and player prices because a lot of stuff just keeps going up and going up and I'm going to talk about a little bit of that today and when we're going to get the next uh, big time batch of consistent supply that's the next big the next big important day in FIFA is Sunday night with squad battle rewards uh, but also on Tuesday when the actual EA access not EA access when the early access uh, comes out and we actually have um, there's no more time limits and people are on the game. More people will be opening packs because people that didn't want to buy EA Access, people that pre-ordered the game are going to be getting uh, the ability to play the game. So I want, to talk about, I want to talk about the best time to invest in some of those cards and I think that Tuesday is going to be one of the best days to do it. Now I looked at a lot of graphs last year and I'm kind of looking at the market this year especially with what I saw at the start of EA Access and the kind of the market movements that I saw then with the cards going up with that influx of supply and coins. Um, but during that pack opening period when a new wave of players comes onto the game, that's, um, that's why I'm keenly looking at Tuesday as a possible great time uh, to buy some of these cards. And I really want to talk about what cards you want to look at, like the, literally the investments that you can look at coming into the full release of FIFA. So again, we're looking like Tuesday is kind of the buy time for some of this stuff. Last year they rolled out uh, the pre-order access and based on your time zone. So the guys out in Australia, they got it first and it kind of rolled across the world. And as it became like midnight your time uh, or close to midnight, I think actually the game came out for the entire United States at midnight Eastern. Guys on the Pacific coast, it was like 9 p.m. and they were able to get on the game. Um, but it kind of rolled out across the world. So obviously it hit the UK um, earlier in the day than it did, uh, or actually, yeah, earlier than it did here in the NA. So before, so those those guys were on while guys in the NA were actually not able to get on. I think that's how it kind of rolls out like across the world. So people gain access as it becomes midnight and turns into the next day. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind with this, but it's just going to be a lot of supply coming onto the market with these cards and we have seen firsthand what supply does to this market so we go from the web app stages i'm looking at pepe right now um the two main kinds of cards we're going to look at today but as the best time and the best cards to invest in are going to be ones to watches golds that are going to go out of packs and meta golds and we'll look at a couple inform cards uh as well as a part of that but i want to look at pepe first because some of these cards are insanely insanely high but to be honest, man, you just have to trust the market and know, trust what's coming up. There are more, more coins headed onto the market through more people opening packs, and that's going to just push these player prices up more because it's going to mean more demand for these cards, and these cards are not getting packed a lot, especially some of the rare 83s like Pepe. Even though he's an 83 rated player, he's still a decently rare player, not getting packed a lot out of these 7.5k packs. So you can tell what happened. The, the, the big pack opening came. With EA Access, he goes from 20K up to 55K. He's currently chilling at 65,000 coins. The best stuff to invest in during that Tuesday time frame is definitely going to be some of those ones to watch cards. Now, I'm looking at Bell Robbie right now because I'm interested in him with the situation with the Bundesliga right wings. But uh, maybe we look at somebody like uh, Ndombele. I think his price right now is like right around 20,000 coins. Maybe it's like 19K. And he's up in price a lot, man. But it's kind of the same situation as it was with Fred last year. And Dombele's kind of been, he's been up to 20K, kind of been filtering back and forth between uh, like 20 to 21K, maybe down to 18, 17. And that's the thing. You could, 
very easily see this card since it's in packs for Tuesday with the pre-order release. You could see this card with the packs that are being opened uh, as that game comes out. You could see this card hit like 15,000 coins on a sniper on some bids. And that could be the best time for you to buy into those cards because then more and more people are getting on the game investing and people are investing in those ones to watch cards. So they're going to start going up on their own. So I really like the ones to watch cards as that best time to invest one of those cards to invest in on Tuesday. And basically Tuesday is just going to be your day to buy a lot of things if you're interested in investing. A guy like Douglas Costa right now, 23,000 coins. I think he is undervalued as basically the option as a left mid or left winger in the Serie A. He's got five star skills, only a three star weak foot. Um, he doesn't have the best shooting stats, but he's pacey and pace and dribbling, which he has a lot of are very good in this game. And there's not many other options at left mid in the Serie A. So at 23,000 coins, I think he is currently undervalued. Could He could rise up into Tuesday a little bit more. That's one thing we have to watch. But some cards like this, if you want to invest in meta cards for your team, uh, another guy like Lucas Hernandez, he got a price range update today. I still think 40,000 coins is a bit low. I think he could rise to about 50, 60K by the full game release, especially with that Neuer inform and the French nation being able to link him with a lot of players. And I think a lot of people are, are pretty high on this guy from what I've heard. A lot of people are trying to get him in their teams. Um, He's got the French League and he's got the Bundesliga link, so he's got easy, easy links all around to a lot of meta players that people are talking about. Whether he gets the ones to watch or not, I think this is a really good investment to at least put in your team. If you have a lot of coins, maybe you pick a couple of them up and put them on your transfer list. Um, but again, that Tuesday time frame is going to be very key for investing, and it's all about timing that. So as you can see, for some of these cards, I want to look back at uh, Pepe again. So today was our first full day after EA Access dropped. You saw his price was actually higher overnight and it went cheaper during the day, right around, what is this, uh, 14, this is like 4 in the afternoon, right? Yeah, no, no, it's, that's uh, that's 6 p.m. UK. Yeah, right there, so like 2, 2 o'clock in the afternoon was actually UK time, the cheapest point for Pepe. His card kind of rose uh, into the nighttime, which it looked like it did the night before as well. So it's almost backwards from last year, whereas some of the cards were cheapest, um, Bellarabi rose a bunch today because of that whole situation, but some cards were actually cheapest at night last year and they rose up into the daytime. But right now it's looking like they're actually cheapest during the day and they rise a little bit overnight, which is interesting on a daily flipping basis. We can look at these cards and kind of flip them, but that is very interesting. Um, but again, I, I just really want to stress the investing part of this video and that's what you guys clicked on it for. These cards are going to be great to invest in buying some of these players on Tuesday when some of these uh, people get onto the game for the first time when you have a whole new set of players playing the game of FIFA Ultimate Team. That's when I think the best time to invest is. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that best time to invest is on that day. Tuesday, you're going to invest in the meta golds. You're going to want to invest in the cards going out of packs for ones to watch. Obviously, I did another video on that. I'll do another one here in a couple of days, looking at what cards I think could get in again. We're gonna have maybe some predictions we'll have, um, stuff like that. But um, these informs could be good investments as well. Some of them have risen a lot, but that just makes sense. De Jong is still extinct. Uh, a lot of people like Surge. I think he's like twenty thousand coins now. Is he twenty k? Yeah, like twenty twenty one k. Looks to be where he's about at. Uh, I think Mane might be extinct as well. He is. This Delaney card is getting a lot of hype. That's another reason why I like uh, some of these Bundesliga guys. Like Havertz has a lot of hype. Um, there's a lot of hype with the Bundesliga. Neuer is a very good looking goalkeeper for early game. I mean, 150,000 coins. That looks like a pretty good goalkeeper. Another reason why Lucas Hernandez could be good. And then obviously these discard investments. If you're a guy like me, which I'm going the RTG grind. I don't have a ton of coins yet. I'm down here on the lower budget, picking up a Tammy Abraham for like 11, 12,000 coins if you can get him um, on that last day of when e when the uh, early access drops, that'll be the last day for this team of the week in packs. It'll be Tuesday. So that's kind of your last chance to pick up some of these cards at a discard value to stack in the club or to invest in out of packs. Uh, could be a good shout as well. But again, you're going to see a lot of supply enter the market on Tuesday with the pre-order stuff 
uh, coming out of the game. This happened last year, and I made a lot of notes, and I, I really saw this last year. On the footbin graphs, you don't actually see it because it looks like the price stayed flat, and then in the following days into the full game release, they went up. But actually what happened was in real time, a lot of these cards went down. So I'm really watching Ndombele. I do think he could get a once to watch card. I could easily see him on a snipe at 15, 16,000 coins, possibly if he doesn't keep going up into Tuesday any much more. I could very easily see him in that price range. And that is something that interests me in terms of a once to watch investment. I think he should get a once to watch card. I think EA would be doing themselves a disfavor if they didn't put Ndombele in once to watch. So I'm hoping that he gets a card. Um, but there's plenty of other options out there as well. If you're somebody who's got a lot of coins, I think Griezmann's almost guaranteed a once to watch. And right now, I think he's like, what, two? Ah, he's up to 300 now. He was 250 earlier this morning. So he's close to he's close to 300, looking right around 290. Yeah, 290 right there was the, the cheapest one. Um, but I still think that's a little bit undervalued for this Griezmann card. He's very good. He's got good dribbling. He's going to have a good shooting in game. Barcelona, French. Big time links, so uh, you know that's possibly a card you can invest in. I've looked at some others, maybe a sleeper one um, that may not drop as much on Tuesday, just because he's already higher rated. This card has already went up a bunch. He was 11k, now he's up to about 23. But I think Rodri could be a card that almost gets forgotten about, but I think he should get a once to watch card. Manchester City, one of their biggest transfers of the year. The Prem didn't have the big headliner transfers that it did last year, so when you're thinking of these once to watch cards to invest in. Um, it's kind of hard, man, you know, because we already have a lot of confirmed ones to watches from the Prem, but they're lower rated. I think we're going to get some higher rated Prem ones to watches in there. Give me that. Oh, yes, a little nice snipe right there and a Rodri CDM card for 20K. I will list this up for 20, let's go 23, 750. Make a quick buck on that one right there. That was a GG. Um, and yeah, I think you could see a card like this maybe dip back under 20k again consistently for his price. You might be able to pick that up. He goes out of packs for once to watch. He could easily be 40,000 coins. That's what you're looking to do on a lot of these cards that are uh, potential. You're looking to double your coins on a lot of these cards. Now, some of them are still pretty cheap. Who was I looking at the other day? Um, I think about I think about um, Richarlison from last year. Joe Ellington, I think right now. Is right around a thousand coins. Is he is he right around a thousand coins? Yes. Oh, he's even under. He is a non-rare, so that's a big difference. But last year, um, oh my gosh, is he like discard right now? Seven hundred coins, seven fifty for Joe Ellington, and he is a guaranteed one to watch player. So this is something that you could watch if you see, if you see this guy get any cheaper. I would at least just put one in your club. Seven hundred coins. Everybody should put one in the club. He is a big time starter striker for a lot of teams. A new transfer to the Prem. He's Brazilian. He links very well. And he's got a four-star weak foot in game. High medium work rates. Solid stats for a starter striker. He is guaranteed a once-to-watch card. He could go out of packs, go from like 700 coins maybe to 1,500 um, for starter squads, for people that are starting to play FIFA at the full game release. That is a very uh, very safe investment. If you're a low-budget guy, maybe you only have 15, 20,000 coins when the game comes out, you might be able to put 10K into him and uh, get a good investment out of that. But again, that Tuesday time period when the pre-order access comes out, you could be looking at the best time to buy some of these cards on bids and on snipes um, during that whole day time, time frame as the game is released across the world. Um, last year, I remember especially, you saw a lot of price drops on popular players like Douglas Costa, Nicolas Pepe, Hernandez, the guys last year where the price drops happened were Fred, Nangolan, um, even some meta players like Firmino, you can go back and check their graphs. And a lot of those guys stayed stagnant there. And then in the days following that, heading up to the full game release, they absolutely flew in price as more and more people got onto the game, opened packs, got coins, and started building teams in FIFA Ultimate Team. So again, Tuesday is a big day for investing. I think that's like the best the biggest day to do it um, and I think that's the most important day for you guys to pick up those ones to watch investments to be most efficient until then until that Tuesday time period we continue trading uh, just like what I did with that Rodri so you got a lot of guys in my transfer list I'm kind of doing the low budget stuff 
I haven't been putting a ton of time into trading. I'm still grinding the methods, flipping the cards. You guys should be doing that as well. But if you're on a higher budget, you can look to invest in some stuff now as you could be getting ahead of the curve with some stuff still maybe being low and the market not valuing those cards exactly where they could be. So that's one thing to look at as well. Kind of with a situation with like Lucas Hernandez and Douglas Costa. Um, but yeah, boys, uh, it's going to be a big, busy time on the market in these next few days. Since there's no EA Access glitch, you're probably not going to see me on this game all the time. You're probably going to see me in the web app a decent amount as well, just to try to save my hours, man, because it's, uh, it's, you got to save your hours when you are very limited, especially, uh, when it's so important to get rewards from playing games. So that's probably what I'm going to do right now. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video Tuesday again I'll make another video on this as we get closer to the day Tuesday massive day for investments But I want to just put this video out and get your minds wrapped around the time frame We just keep grinding and trading until we get to Tuesday uh, Maybe some stuff on Sunday night with squad battle rewards. We'll take a look at that as well in the upcoming days But we're getting closer and closer to the full game release and uh, the big time grind starting for FIFA 20 It is here. It feels good and uh, hopefully you guys are having some fun. If you have any questions, drop down below in the comments. I'll be down there answering them. Smash a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.